She'd be the nicest box on the shelf. Fox News anchor Julie Banderas in the house. Her New Year's resolution is to be less awesome. New York Times best-selling author and Fox News contributor, Kat Timpatier. And the crowd goes wild. All right, so Julie, we covered a lot there. When you look back on 2023, if someone gave this to you as a gift, would you keep it or would you re-gift it? I would re-gift it, but like to an enemy. You, know? <laughs> like, you don't give 2023 to anyone you have any respect for. I'd, probably, <laughs> I'd give it to my ex-husband. Yeah. I, I just want to address that. He's calling Nikki Haley, actually, uh, out of uh, her prime. He's past his prime. I just wanted to put that on the record. I'm glad That's we all. got that out of the way. Yeah, oh, I feel like it needed to be. What you were offended by was you saying I was a bad writer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you know I didn't mean. So I wasn't as into talking about the Dylan Mulvaney thing, it's whatever, it doesn't matter. However, mm -hmm. I think it's interesting that they chose, if they wanted to have a trans person for their ad, they chose, you know, a, a male to female trans person and not the other way around. Yep. Yep. What's shocking to me is when people think businesses care about you. Oh yeah, they don't care at all. They're I, all Didn't Didn't Disney kind of learn that message? Like, <laughs> is yeah. this... Is it's great. It actually applies to my regular life. Like any time I meet somebody in person, it's guilty until proven innocent. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true. And you have to prove to me that you're innocent. And so I guess that's uh, that's what's happening with Trump. I've never been a juror mm -hmm. uh, before either. But um, <laughs> if I ever was a juror, I, I think that this would set an awful precedent, quite frankly, because you're right. He's never been convicted. He was never even charged with insurrection. Alec, what do you think would happen? Oh, yeah, no. It would be hell. You're I mean, it would absolutely be. Disenfranchising people. Yeah, yeah people could That die. would not be allowed. It would never get to the Supreme Court. Yeah. The fact that the Supreme Court has to deal with this BS, with all the other crap that's going on under this government, yeah. is ridiculous. I'm with JB. Uh, an arsonist by burning it down? Kinda. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, do they not know that? That's clearly his favorite. They yeah. just added so much more time to his set. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and, and there's no way, obviously, as everyone said, that this is constitutional, that there's any legal justification for this. I mean, it's obviously absurd that they're saying they have to do it for democracy. All saying they're going to take their names off the ballot. Vivek, right? Vivek. <laughs> Ramaswamy. <laughs> Ramash which sounds like a delicious Indian dish, right? I love the <laughs> Ramaswamy. And... More press. More press. You can't say that. You can't say that, sir. You can't say that. I just said it. I just yeah. said it. He loves it. Yeah, your Trump impression is so good, you're now on a government watch list. <laughs> Truth Social this afternoon tweeting, uh, what yeah. do you call it? Yeah. Truth thing. Um, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, he loved it. I mean, I, yeah. I do follow him, and he absolutely loves it. And, you know, the more that people start to come down on MAGA and Trump, the more popular he gets. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. I thought it was sweet, though. I mean, you know, they're married and they're having sex. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think that's inspirational for all the would-be brides and grooms out there. <laughs> you know, like, sleep with your spouse. <laughs> he's not having an affair. He's having sex with his wife. I think he's actually a role model, quite frankly, considering most of the professors and presidents of universities nowadays. He is actually an exemplary example of what you should be Promotion. and what you should want to grow up to be when you are a married man. Give it, oh. give it. That's probably why... Because the vote to, to oust him was unanimous. That's probably why. Everyone else is like, I'm They're in miserable marriages. At home. Exactly. Yeah. Fired! Their husbands are cheating <laughs> on them. Or just not into her because she gained weight. Like, <laughs> she, they're good. And she's no skinny mini, so he's still banging her even after that post baby weight. I don't care. No, you don't even want to know what goes through my mind half the time, so I certainly don't want to know what others are thinking, no. Wow. Well, and uh, I don't really care. Mm -hmm. You know? I'm on CNN right now. But, uh. <laughs> Red meat. Red meat. I kept asking them if they were mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this Mr. Johnson? You yes, have to go. Is. I'd be like, but why? <laughs> what did I do? What did I do wrong? <laughs> it became more about me than anything. If you're going to talk to me in the morning, Kahlua or Bailey's in the coffee might get me to actually acknowledge you, but this is worse than, like, kissing in the morning before you brush your teeth. It's disgusting. <laughs> and I can't stand mornings. I can't actually stand when people say good morning. Yeah. People that know me just say not morning in the morning. <laughs> and I don't like when people look at me or talk to me in the morning, so certainly coffee talk is not going to work for me. <laughs> it's going to be so great. We're making comedy funny again. That's what we're doing. That's great. And January 10th... Gigs. I'm just going to be a mom, you know. 
bomb Un it up. Unpaid. Okay. Yeah. And Kat Timp, you're just going to be a kick-ass best-selling author and. Well, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna have more dates next year. I don't know what they are yet, but I have like a bunch of sweet merch on my website. Oh, give it to me! Yeah, therealcattimp.com. Hot, love it. Go there, guys. <laughs> By multiple. Tyler Fisher, Cat Tim, and our studio.